ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. He said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build great. There will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods, made up for many years. Take thy needs. Eat, drink, and be merry. God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, the body is more than meat. Consider the ravens, but they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, but God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, or he of little faith? Seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not all treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief poacheth, neither moth corrupteth. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.